finally silenced the incessant noise and moved it to a safer place. So where did... Away from here. I'm not in a sharing mood, Cassandra, and the moaning isn't helping. <sighs> That's not what you said last night. Oh, baby, I thought we had something. Something magic. Black space and red... This is so very far beyond you, little girl. Fuck off. I've seen the beyond. And I'm a fast learner. I'm ready for more than... this. Give me something. Let me in. Let me do what I'm good at. What? Getting the boys to sign over their lives for a snog? I'll tell you what you can do. We're spreading an idea, but that idea won't take hold without carriers. You keep poor foot soldiers. Be still, my beating heart. Here's what I don't get, Beaumont. You have what you've been looking for. Your precious magic sword. You control the armies of the living dead. You pretty much own this island. So the question is... Why the sour face? That you're... You're missing something. Right? Now this is interesting. Your treasure, your... your precious... You can't use it, can you? I mean, the spirit is willing, but the flesh... Oh my, the flesh is limp. Watch it, little girl. You have... What? What? You want to know what this is really about, Cassie, dear, when it all comes down to it? Hmm? Change. Evolution. A new dawn. The world tree will shake. The sun will turn black. And the gods themselves will fall. We are rebooting the world. That's the thing, isn't it? What everyone talks about. It's the big headline. The, the endless night. I like it. There's poetry to it. And oh, does it suit you. The evil sorcerer thing. It's sexy. The answer is in the archives somewhere. It has to be. They knew about it, the gateway to the black heart of the island. I have the key, but... The lock! The lock is the fucking thing! Wait, what? I've been around long enough to recognize the flavor of the day, Cassie. You're it. <clears throat> oh. Really? So that's it? That's how you repay me, you piece of shit. No more. Take one last good look at what you're missing, lover boy. Useless bitch. Artie. And their bloody labyrinths. Another one of our friendly neighborhood Spider-Men? Welcome to the party. Dig in. There's enough cake for everyone. It's not sarcasm. He isn't capable of sarcasm. Well, she's right. I'm Blake. This is my associate, Ms. Radcliffe. We represent uh, an independent think tank, working with the CDC, troubleshooting agency, for particular kinds of trouble. Like Mount Vernon, Iowa last summer. You didn't hear about what happened there. We're a long-term goal-oriented organization. Our role here is to maintain a scientific overview of the situation, not to intervene. And that's what we've been doing, not intervening. Maintaining a scientific overview of the situation, despite continuing setbacks that someone with a, a high-risk skill set might be better aligned to deal with. He means you, and I'm, I'm sure I didn't need to say that bit. Those things, those monsters, they're taking it off. This has the potential to be bad on so many levels. On multiple levels. A flight of superheroes? A fray? We're done here. Who the hell goes there? 
Identify yourself. Oh, goddamn. Thought you might be one of them. You better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Put it there. Oh, I understand perfectly. Man's got to guard his handshake. Gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. Shake a man is past and present. See the wear on these? Metal working hands. For fixing things up. Or breaking them. Real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep. All manner of shit comes out. But nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. You're lucky Boone's been keeping tabs on you, and that I got here when I did. Don't go hunting lions with pea shooters. No. I've been waiting for something to happen out here. It's been in the earth, in the air. It's why Boone and me came out here even before the fog. There's power on Solomon Island, the kind that spreads filth. It's waking up. My friend Jack is fond of saying he's seen the worst of what this world has to offer. That was just the beginning. I always knew worse things were headed our way. And now they've arrived. The man you're chasing carries something powerful. And potentially dangerous. I'll do what I can to help. Though I lack your particular talents. It took me 30 years of looking to learn how to cast a simple spell. Nope. I get too close to that round. I hear the whispers even now. And I don't have your natural defenses. I'm afraid of what it might do to me. Of what it might make me do to all of you. I've been doing some digging. As far as I can tell, this relic is what brought the fog here. Or at least what controls it. Whoever wields it holds the fate of Solomon Island in their hands. Where that tunnel leads but the Illuminati dug and dug deep when they ruled this island. It's a network that stretches from Kingsmith in the east to the Academy in the west. I don't know where this tunnel leads, but it's somewhere west of here. Autumn winds blew it apart. Had time for my first kiss up there. Mm, sweet as August apples. The fallen blossom never returns to the branch. But you only lose what you cling to. There's a tree house north of here. Built to last decades, solid as the oak it's in. Kids who built it were part of a club. Called themselves the League of Monster Slayers without a hint of us exactly what they were. See, the window between worlds has always been open a crack on this island. Things would sometimes uh, slip through. Kids knew that. They feared it. But they still wanted to fight it. So they built the clubhouse as a lookout, a library, a base of operations. Been there for decades, Red tells me. Kids would grow into adults, pass the torch and the key, the younger generation, the League abided, as did the treehouse, until now. Forest around the treehouse is alive and deadly. I found out the hard way, almost got myself killed. Seems the Akab are particularly fond of that spot, or they want to keep us out. Perhaps the kids kept something in the treehouse, something the moths are afraid of. I wouldn't underestimate the League. Before the mountain, and by the grace of nature, 
I was allowed to realize I am only a child. The club I was part of didn't fight monsters or practice magic. But we did practice other things that long, hot summer. <laughs> All right. So mostly we just talked about it into the warm nights. But that was almost a sweet. Either you've chosen as bad a time as any for a long weekend upstate, or you're here to do a day's work in the name of whatever master holds your leash. In that case, you've come to the right place. But you're not the first to come looking. Hate to break it to you, my friend. We've had all sorts skulking about. Illuminati, Templars, Dragon, Phoenicians. It's like a gold rush. Power. And they want a piece of it. Fishermen. By a rocky shore. Winds blowing wildly in a boat unmoored. Storm is coming. Boone and I, we've split the good work between us. He gets the cushy assignment up by the doorway, holding the hands of rookies. I get Deadwood here. He has a waterproof tent and hot food. I get dank cellars and animal clay with more than rotting corpses and pale ghouls. There are strange things going on down in that abandoned amusement park. And not just an old-fashioned haunting. It's an evil place. Born of an evil man and the souls trapped inside are screaming to be let out. Heaven and hell are both in the hearts of men. But water too pure has no fish. We need evil. My advice to you, keep your shoulders up and your weapon drawn. This is not a good place. And whatever hides here got a taste for life, for taking it and swallowing it. To know the road ahead, they say, ask those coming back. But if you come across bodies, there's really no need to ask. You'll know which road you're on. 